Okay, JC in case says over trading after profit streak. Okay, so you become overconfident when you make some profits and then you may over trade. And over trading, uh, no matter how many takes, how many times you trade, as long as you follow the rules, it's okay. But um, let's say just because the market is trending up like this, you never jump into the market. You have to use your strategy and follow your strategy. That way, you may be less and less uh, opportunities in trades. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, you know when you think about the losses and the profits, um, which one do you think it's difficult? Is it difficult to make profits, or is it more difficult to? Uh, make losses and I think most of you would say you know um, making more profits will be more difficult but uh, in terms of the chance in terms of the probability this is actually what the original creator of, of uh, Ichimoku King Koiho says is that the um, the market goes either up or down and that's it Whichever time frame you look at, the market only goes up or down. <clears throat> so, the chance for the market to go up and down is 50-50, after all. So, you should be having 50-50 chance whenever you take trades, whether it's a buy or sell. So, why people think it's more losses than the wins is because of our psychology. Uh, and this is actually related to one of the psychology terms which is called the prospect theory the prospect theory you can actually uh, search google and find um, the some articles about that but uh, prospect theory basically means that uh, the joy on the win on the win uh, and also the pain in the loss so let's say you win hundred dollars. Let's say you win hundred dollars. Let me just put hundred. You win hundred dollars and you have a joy. And let's say on the next trade you lose hundred dollars again. You lose hundred dollars on the next trade. So in terms of money, in terms of the amount of money, this is break even and you simply came back to zero. So you gain $100, but then you lose $100. So this is basically break even, but psychologically, it's not break even. Psychologically, you feel the loss. So in that theory, it's usually said that to cover the pain of the loss, you have to have like 1.5 times uh, you know, uh, 1.5 times more profit. So let's say if you lose $100, then to cover that money, $100 is okay. But psychologically, to cover, you have to earn 150 Then psychologically, it becomes equal. So that this is the reason why sometimes uh, the break-even trades can be painful because you're not losing, but um, you may feel loss because you couldn't take profits, and that's why you feel it's a loss. And also, um, let's say when you run the profits and you take 20 pips, and on the next trade you lose 20 pips, and then you you are break-even, but psychologically you feel lose. Same is true. Uh, when you see the market profits, market turning up like this, but without your positions. After you lose with a break even, the market goes up towards that direction and you feel loss because you were not there and you could not take that profit. So this is all about psychology. All about psychology. So we have to focus on the numbers, not the feelings or not the emotion. So if you gain hundred dollars, then that's hundred dollars plus. And if you lose hundred dollars, 
then that's hundred dollars minus. And in emotionally, you have to feel break even. So, yeah, that's I think what happens. So over trading, coming back to this comment, over trading after profit streaks, uh, you may have some <clears throat> that may, it may be challenging for you. <clears throat> but um, yeah, but that's because you feel you lost all these potential pips and you might want to take aggressively more trades and more for more profits but uh, if you keep doing that then when you start to lose then at the same time you also start to feel pain a lot <clears throat> let's say for example another example is that let's say uh, you gain 100 pips this time i use the pips you gain 100 pips plus, so you become happy. And on the next trade, you lose 20 pips. Okay, and in your mind, you think, okay, this is just 20 pips loss, it's okay. This is, I still have 80 pips. And on the next trade, you lose another 20 pips. So, in psychology, you know you won the, you're still winning the market, but in psychology, you start to feel pain. And this is because in terms of the number of the win, it was just one. But in terms of the number of loss, there are, there are two losses. So you start to feel a bit pain, although you're winning the profits. And let's say the next trade becomes also minus 20. So to, in total, you lose 60. But still, you still have 40 pips plus. However, in psychology, I think it will be almost like break even. Psychologically, it becomes like break even because you lost th three times already and you only won once. And what if you lose another 20 pips on the next trade? You lose another 20 pips. Then you become more pain and you really feel that you're losing the trade. You only got 100 pips on one trade, but now you lose uh, four times, times 20. So you lose uh, 80 minus 80, but technically you're still gaining 100, 100 pips, you won 100 pips, so the difference is still plus 20. So technically, you're still winning the trade. So you should be happy, but psychologically, you feel it's losing. So this actually happens because you focus on your own emotion and you don't look at numbers. That's why this happens. So that's why I say only focus on the numbers, especially numbers that are universal. Like pips is universal and the ratio like percentage is also universal, like risk and the reward ratio, or the drawdown percent, or the win rate, like these rates or percentages or the ratio are universal. But um, let's say number of uh, winning trade and number of losing trades, uh, you don't have to really care. Uh, and also, never don't look at the numbers in money. Let's say you gain $100, so yeah, now I change it to dollars. Let's say you won $100, and on the next trade, you lose $20, and $20, $20, and $20. So let's assume that these are all become dollars, and your psychology should affect more than the pips. Now not only focusing on the number of losses, but also you start to focus on the amount of the loss too. So you gain $100, but you lost $80. So now you have only $20. So you had $100, but now you only have $20. So even though you, you're winning the trade, you feel loss because you lost $80 uh, running profit. 
but actually you didn't lose, right? Uh, psychologically you lost, but uh, physically you didn't lose. So you should be happy. But uh, most of the people says that uh, you I lost eighty dollars. Well, actually you didn't lose. You didn't have anything, but you gained hundred dollars, and then uh, you uh, it dec decreased down to twenty dollars left. But you still have twenty dollars. And if you do this every time, like a hundred dollars gain and eighty dollars loss, hundred dollars gain and eighty dollars loss, and if you keep doing the trades in this manner, then you can actually gain more money, twenty dollars plus twenty dollars, and plus twenty dollars, and on and on. And this is the way to make profit more safer in the long run. So yeah. So again, don't focus on the psychology in terms of the money, in terms of the numbers win or loss, but focus on the overall performance in terms of the pips, in terms of the ratio, in terms of the percentage. Yeah, if you start to focus on these numbers, then I'm sure you feel less emotion and uh, less stressful. And I say this because I have I used to focus only on the dollars or back in Japan I was using yen. So I was only always focusing on how much gain I got uh, uh, by yen or how much lose I got by yen and so on. And then that was really stressful in psychology. So yeah, I think that's uh, important uh, things to remember.